Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got baseball on the show. The Atlanta Braves and the Milwaukee Brewers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. ready to get underway so now to the plate for Atlanta Eddie Rosario and a pitch and a swing and a miss one up one down here is Ozzie Albies up to hit next offering is down low two and one The pitch in the air to left center. Yelich gets under it, makes the catch, and there are two outs. Here is Matt Olson. The first baseman, Matt. Right-hander kicks deals. Next offering is outside. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Boom, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Next offering is foul back. One, two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Chop to third. Brasso picks it up. And that'll do it. Bottom of the first. Leading off, Colton Wong. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he create. Oh, this one high and deep, way back there. And foul as it bangs off the fence. Up the middle. Over to first. That takes care of Wong. Willie Adamas stands in. And now the lefty. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Now it's Christian Yelich. Next pitch has popped up. Tarno settles underneath it, brings it in, and there's two away. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. That's out to center field. Duvall drifts towards it. And that is the inning. here at American Family Field. Second inning set to go. Now in for the Braves, Austin Riley. And a count one and two. And a pitch. Good eye right there. And that's outside. Cut 
down and missed. Struck him out. Now one away. Adam Duvall at the plate. The center field. And the right-hander deals. Second inning here, no score. That one in for a strike, two and two. Righty delivers. Three, two now. Three and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And two away now. Dansby Swanson stands in. And a 2-1 on the way. There's a strike. No score here in the second. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. here in Milwaukee bottom half of inning number two and the batter now Rowdy Telez and a 1-1 now with the shift on hits right into it not in time an infield knock to start the inning now it's Hunter Renfro here's a 1-1 and downstairs. And that one is in for a strike. And that's downstairs and outside. They tried to get him to go chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. And there's ball four. Omar Narvaez at the plate. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Flares one into center. Makes the grab one down. Now it's Lorenzo Kane. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Over to Albies, and that's two. Back here at the ballpark, here's Dickerson now. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes so many great plays. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Eddie Rosario. The pitch. On a line out towards center. Kane makes the grab. And there's two away. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Top of the third, no score. Next pitch has popped up. Narvaez makes the catch, and that'll do it. As we go to the last of the third, now batting Michael Brasso. And here's a 3-2. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. The 
He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Duvall coming on. Racing makes the catch. And there's one down. So up next, Willie Adamas doubled his first time up. So a foul ball makes it one and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. The pitch. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. And now the count filled up three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Out towards right center field. Rosario under it. Calls it in, and there's two away. And now it's Christian Yelich. Up the middle, lays out, but he can't squeeze it. That leaves him without a throw, and they don't get the out. Well, that was an important at-bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Kicks and deals. And just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and that is that. All set for the start of the inning, and now Matt Olson up to hit. Kicks and fires. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Here's Marcelo Zuna. The Braves yet to pick up a hit here. And that one in the air, center field. Kane settles under this one, and there's two down. Two outs, space is empty. Here's Austin Riley. That one ripped, and foul ball. Chopped left side. Throw over to Telez. Third out, and that ends the frame. Ready to go, bottom four. And now the first baseman, Rowdy Telez. The 1-1. One -one. Ground ball, Olsen. Takes it himself. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Next pitch misses. And that's ball two. And he deals. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And a couple of quick outs. Omar Narvaez digs in now. And a pitch. A 
next offering misses down and away. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and percept. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. And it one hops the wall. Rosario whips it in quickly. They hold the runner at second, so another base hit could get us our first run in this one. Man in scoring position with two away. And now Lorenzo Kane. He hit into a double play his first time up. Next pitch misses way outside. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. That one to first. Olsen handles the chance. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. Over to the pitcher, inning over. Welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the center fielder, Adam Duvall. Two two now stays alive. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Dansby Swanson getting ready to hit. Struck out swinging his first time. The Braves hitless so far in the game. And misses inside. The 2-1. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And now a full count. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away now. Now it's Alex Dickerson. Worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. The 1-1. One, one. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Up now for Milwaukee, Michael Brasso. The wind of the pitch. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. And it's two and one. And here it comes. And it's fouled away. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. The punch out there. One gone here. Colton Wong up to hit. Next offering is in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Up the middle. That takes care of Wong. Two outs, base is empty. Next for the Brewers, Willie Adamas. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Late swing, fouled off. The 2-2. And that just misses. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Darno makes the catch, and that'll do it. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. This to third, Brasso picks it up, tosses across to first, and a quick out number one. And now the right fielder, Eddie Rosario. Eddie. 
The Braves still looking for their first hit in this one. Smoked into left. This looks like extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And it bangs up against the wall. Yelich hurries it back in. Runner holds it second. So another base hit could get us the first run of the game. And next for Atlanta, Ozzy Albies. And that one got a piece of him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. And a 3-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. 3-2. And there's two away. Now the left fielder, Marcelo Zuna. First and second, two down. Next pitch has popped up. Adamas gets there. He's under it. Makes the catch. Inning over. here at American Family Field. Bottom of the sixth inning. Up now for Milwaukee, Christian Yelich. Next pitch is outside. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. Next offering is fouled back. The wind of the pitch. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Next offering is in for a strike. Boog, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. Slice down the right side. Swing and a high fly ball in the air left field. That one on its way. And out of here! Andrew McCutcheon blasts one out. The Brewers score first. It's 1-0. And now it's Rowdy Telez. That one in for a strike, 2-2. Two and two. Next offering is fouled back. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Next offering is in the dirt. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. One down, base is empty. Stays alive. Left-hand hitter waits. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. One gone runner at first. Hunter Renfro at the plate. A strikeout and a walk. High fly ball, right field. Rosario drops steps, heads back on it. Makes the grab, two down. And here's the catcher, Omar Narvaez. The catcher, Omar Narvaez. 2-2 two -two now. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. 
Darno makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the seventh. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Austin Riley. Is a 1-1. Swings through that one out in front that time. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Now in for the Braves, Adam Duvall. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. On the ground to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. Next pitch is in the dirt. Two balls and a strike. At the belt and fires. Popped up. Wong settles under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that will end the inning. Now here's Darren O'Day to take over for the Braves. Right-hander who throws from the side really almost down under and his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance back here in milwaukee here's a speed threat lorenzo kane the pitch and a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Olsen pulls that one down, and there's one away. Here's the third baseman, the Michael Brasso. The third baseman, Michael Brasso. O'Day ahead, one and two. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. Two gone. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. Here's the leadoff man for the Brewers, Colt Luong. The 1-1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Next pitch is inside. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And the right hater deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two, two. And now it's filled up. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. And a foul ball. Grinding A-B right here. About to see pitch number 10. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A solo shot. And they add a run. It's 2-0. And now the shortstop, Willie Adamas. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's the third out, inning over.
Welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. And now it's the Braves DH, Alex Dickerson. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. The pitch. And it's even up. And another ball. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. And a base hit on the line. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. And here is Travis Dardo. And a count one and two. The tying run at the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. Next to hit, Eddie Rosario. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Got him looking. And there are two down. Ozzie Albies next up for the Braves. Tying run at the plate. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. The relay safe. He beats it. So the Brewers bring out a new pitcher from the pen, Brent Suter. And he'll go to work with runners on second and third. Now pitching for the Brewers. Number 35. Brent. Suter. Matt Olson up to the plate. This guy has turned into a beast. The lefty ready. And a 1-1. And that's outside. Here comes a pitch. And now it's even up. He's going off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. The 2 2 now. And yeah, that's outside. Three two on the way. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs, two in scoring position. Center field. Kane under it. And makes the grab. And that is that. Tyler Matzik will take over on the mound. It's his job to keep his team in the game. And welcome back. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Up now for Milwaukee, Christian Yelich. The pitch. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. And the pitch. And there's a foul ball. And the pitch. Stays alive. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. 
Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. 2-2 Two -two down. Now a rocket to right center. Way back there. And forget it. It's out of here. Christian Yelich leaves the yard. And they tack one on the board. It's 3-0. Next for Milwaukee, Andrew McCutcheon. He's already homered here in this one. And he deals. And now it's filled up. Kicks and fires. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throw on to Olsen. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. Here's Rowdy Telez. And the pitch. And now two and two. Just misses. Full count three and two. And now the lefty. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two down. Two outs. Base is empty. At the play. Hunter Renfro. The pitch. Tap dances out of the way of that one. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. So Josh Hader gets the call to the mound, trying to protect this lead. Number 71, Josh Hader. Back here at the ballpark, all set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the left fielder, Marcelo Zuna. pitch that one inside three and one hater he's known as a reliever that excels in really tough situations those high leverage spots it seems like he's at his best in these situations and obviously the ability to get the strikeout factors in the three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four they're not ready to go home quite yet. Austin Riley will hit next. Yeah, there are certain guys that expect to come in and dominate, and they see the challenge, the battle, just a little bit differently. They trust their stuff, and they believe that their stuff is better than that guy standing in the batter's box, what his swing, what his ability is. The pitch. Just off the outside part of the plate. The mental approach is a big factor, too, isn't it? Yeah, Boog, it is. And, you know, for each guy, it can be a little different. Some people consciously work on focusing, slowing things down, breathing techniques. And then there's some players that are just natural, and they just seem to be more composed and less excitable. Here comes a pinch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. At the belt and fires. Stays alive. A lot of times with relievers, they just like to get amped up and they're not really looking to try and slow it down, right? They're just trying to get hyper. Yeah, and perhaps make that hitter a little hyper and make him more aggressive. And that way, when they put a wrinkle, change speeds, he's out in front just a little bit. And a pitch. The 3-2 is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Well, this could be the start of something. They haven't found a way to score yet, but now's their chance to change that. And just hacking like you used to. 
Yeah, kind of the same, just like that, yeah. Tying run at the plate. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next offering is downstairs. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and one away. And next for Atlanta, Dansby Swanson. Swanson, former first round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks, Vanderbilt player in college, college World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. That hits the dirt, two and one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And he deals. Fouls one off, two and two. Runners at first and second with one gone. Breaking ball inside. Three and two now. And a swing and a miss. The hat trick. Braves down to their final out. So first and second with two outs. Alex Dickerson next up for the Braves. Next offering is foul back. Just one strike away. And now the count is even. Two balls, two strikes. Down to their final strike. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Great pitchers duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. A shutout in this one. Three nothing. Our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long. here this afternoon and we remind you to please drive home safely